Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinooks! We are so excited to have you here today. And guess what? Today is the 100th day of school, and I'm feeling it. Oh, I am exhausted. I've been feeling it since my 30s, kids. Oh. Anyways, we want to hit you up with some updates here. And we want to start with saying thank you for all of that hard work that happened two days ago, which was our DHP where we had a hundred people coming through our school and you all shine bright. Thank you students, thank you kindness ambassadors, and thank you staff. You all rocked it and knocked it out of the park. So thank you so much for that. Miss Atina, what else do we have going on? Well, this month, we are recognizing students and staff for empathy. Oh. Yeah, and empathy is... It means that we are understanding people's perspectives and we care about their well-being. So that is empathy. We're showing that we care and we show understanding towards others. And guess what is next? Read day! We have read day coming up, which is tomorrow the 17th. So, so please show up if you are registered for that because we want you all here to be able to learn and continue to make progress. Attendance is very important for those read days. So please, again, be here because this is the last one for a while. And then we have our CRE family breakfast for K through 2 uh, on March 21st. So that's next Tuesday. And we will want to make sure that your family knows to go through the Hometown Fan app. This is my phone right here. So use that app so we can get you easily signed in when you come to have breakfast on Tuesday. Yep, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Yummy breakfast. Bring your families if you're in kinder through second grade. We'll be celebrating and enjoying that time with you. And when you come in with your app, we'll making sure that we'll be scanning it with our iPads and making sure that you have your ticket to attend for that day. Because we need to know how many people are showing up. Okay, we also wanna know, like making sure that we have everybody accounted for here. And we also wanna see what our attendance rate is. Are we having great attendance during these events? So there's three important reasons why we use the hometown fan. I have a question about that. Yes. Do they have to buy tickets for the students that go here at the school? No, nope. we know that they are going to be eating breakfast, so just buy a ticket for yourself. And when I say buy, it's free, you just need to get a ticket. <laughs> no school, March 24th, that's a grading day. It's right before I say spring break and conferences. So Mar March 24th, which is next Friday, okay, we'll, we will have no school. And looking forward to next week as well, we have a PTO meeting March 22nd. Okay. And combined with that, we also have our district-wide choir um, celebration, which will be happening over at the middle school on March 22nd at 7 p.m. So our students here at Clackamas River have been getting together on Wednesdays for practice and performance, and they are ready to put on a show for all of you. So please show up for that on March 22nd. Along with no school on March 24th, following that, do we have school that after that week? Oh my goodness, we do not. It's a spring, spring break. break. Okay, so spring break's happening, no school, the 27th through the 31st. We give you permission to take a rest and read any book that you want to read during that time and enjoy all those family activities. And then when we come back from spring break... I'm so glad you asked. When we come back from spring break, it's conferences. You get to show your parents what you're doing here at school. You are going to be the leader in those conferences and you're going to be able to show them exactly what essential learning standards you have been learning and the progress you are making. So we're looking forward for you all to come in and check that out. And before we go to spring break and we're not here for school on March 24th, remember we have oh our school-wide assembly. Yep, we sure do. And you know what? One, uh, I was in a meeting just recently and I want to let you know this. It broke my heart because, and I say broke my heart, but made me just like so excited. There was a student that said that her most favorite thing at school is the assembly. Wow. 
I love that. So yeah. thank you for uh, you know giving us that positive uh, feedback. We love hearing that. And at that assembly, we will be recognizing students for empathy. Just a quick update as well. We have our school store, which will be ending on the 23rd. And that's where you're bringing in those packets and receiving those, I say, slap bracelet animals. Okay, that ends uh, next week. So we'll be all done with that fundraiser. We just wanna say thank you for all participating. We really appreciate that because that brings money into our school and we use that money to buy school supplies for next year. So it really reduces the cost for our families, you know, spending money on supplies for what they need for here at school. And then another thing, we want to give a huge shout out to our state champ basketball players. Okay, we have Colby, Tavis, and Kobe state champs here at CRE that have been playing basketball this season. Great so. job, boys! Woo! All right, it is that time for birthday. Happy birthday to you. All right, we want to wish you all a happy, happy birthday. Uh, we want to start with staff birthdays. Miss Patina, who's on our list for staff birthdays? Miss Pelton, Mr. Searing, and Miss Hill. Woo! Congratulations on those birthdays, and we have some student birthdays. We have Lainey, Parker, and Cora, Andrea, Connor, Tucker, Preston, Leilani, Ethan, and Grant. Happy birthday! Woo! Happy, happy birthday to all of you. We hope that you have a fantastic day. Lots of celebrations, lots of cake and ice cream and all that yummy stuff. So Balloons. happy birthday. Balloons. Yes, Balloons. that's important. All right. It's that time to see who won those golden trophies. We're going to take it on down to Mr. Armstrong and check out to see who won that golden plunger. Let's check it out. Hello Chinooks, we're with Mr. Adam right now and we're in his office and we are about to find out who won the Golden Plunger. This week's gonna be fourth and fifth grade boys. Great Woo! Job. Nice work, and guess what? Another awesome piece is, I don't know if you can see this uh, poster behind me, but this has to do with student shout outs of students giving others respectful comments to each other and Mr. Adam tracks that data. Do you do that every day? Every day. Wow, every day he's tracking those comments. And let's look over here at all these shout outs that we're getting throughout our days. What an amazing accomplishment this is. And we're tracking that data over time and we want to continue to see that respect continue throughout our cafeteria. So good job, Mr. Adam. Good job, students. Keep up that hard work. Congratulations to the Golden Plunger winners. All that hard work, clean bathrooms, picking up paper towels, flushing those toilets. You are all rocking it. Congratulations. Excellent job. All right, let's go check in with Miss McDonald to see who won that golden tray. Hello, Chinooks. We're eating snack right now with Miss McDonald. And guess what we're ready to do? The golden tray. Miss McDonald, who won that golden tray this week? This week, I'm happy to say that the fifth graders won. Good job, fifth graders. Woo! Fifth grade, you guys rock. Woo! Wow, I can't believe it. You guys are rocking that golden tray. Keep up that great work. I can't wait till you hit that goal so you can earn some popcorn and those awards. Congratulations. All right, it's time to go check out that golden fairy. Let's head into the library and see who won the golden book this week. Hello, Chinooks. We're in the library with Mrs. T right now. Oh, wait a second. She's asleep. It looks like she was reading a book that you all read this week. Let's go check it out. Wakey. Oh my goodness, this book makes me so tired, but I love it so much. Oh. And I do have to say, it's been a really great week this week. I'm so happy to have all full days. 
And Miss Johnson's class again yes. gets it. Mrs. Johnson's class, way to go. Get that golden book. We're so proud of you all. Keep up that great work. We'll see you next week. <laughs> wow, Miss Patina, I can't believe it. They are doing an amazing job in the library. They're learning so much. Congratulations on the golden book Excellent winners. Work. All right, Miss Patina. I and other people have been walking around the school building and into the pod areas to see who has been keeping the pod areas clean. And what we want to say this week is a congratulations to our second grade group. Yeah, good job it's second grade. Fantastic. Keep up that great work. All right, let's go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance hand over our heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What we want to say to you all is thank you so much for pouring all of your energy, your love, your commitment to everything that we are doing here in our school and district of being a model of what right looks like and you are our leaders and we're so thankful to have you part of our community we care about you have a great weekend and we can't wait to see you next week